Alrighty, so Scorpios, how are you? This is going to be a reading for you and we're going to see what the current energies are looking like for you. Okay, of course, I'm going to leave some decks below that I like to use and also the decks that I'm going to be using in this video. So check their uh for that as well as the information to book a session and let's get it popping Scorpios what's the current energies around them so we do have jumping cards today alrighty so first card that we have we have the two of cups in reverse and we also have the ten of wands in reverse so right off the bat a lot of you are dropping the stress associated with an ending that took place with a relationship, a friendship, a relationship with a family member. This looks like a personal relationship that you guys did have to distance yourself from or this person may have distanced them, themselves from the friendship or relationship, whichever way it may have worked out. But this is definitely showing the signs that you guys are getting past the also betrayal and the energy of all the stress that came with the connection especially if this person really didn't know what they wanted uh, they were seemingly just kind of like dragging you along this is you being able to recognize well i'm better without that situation and being able to release yourself from said situation so this is really really good a lot of you are also recognizing that someone that you are really, really concerned about, whether it is a family member or a friend, somebody who you're really, really concerned about as far as their well-being, you can no longer be so concerned to the point that it puts you at risk of being stressed the hell out for one, or just basically stressing out about things that you can't necessarily control. So I like this. Okay, we have the full card. We also have the magician and the four of wands. And the last card from this set is the knight of cups in reverse. So continuing, I'm seeing something here about an Aries, possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some of you are feeling like, look, Right now, I need to really focus on getting some fresh energy going, especially if, like I said, it took you a minute to get out of the space of feeling weighed down by an ending or by a specific situation. Um, now, another thing that I see, some of you are finally ready to put yourself back out into the dating scene. You may have realized how you've had the power all along to get love or to receive better connections just at the moment you may have not been in the space to really understand verbatim what you need to look for out of a specific partner um, there may have been like little red flags that you may have missed or even things that you may have not really paid attention to in the past that you will be paying attention to now moving forward I'm also seeing like kind of getting off of the love part. I'm also seeing here in regards to career, there may be some new approaches or a new job or business some of you are going to be starting and you're really going to realize how powerful you are, especially when it comes to bringing results forward. Some of you may be trying like some new, like I said, tactics to use at work or say you're um, like self-employed and you're finding new tactics to business and learning more information, especially like via a friend or via like courses, you're really going to be feeling a lot more confident in creating during this time frame. Let me move this back a little. I also see with family, you may have a family member who seems a little emotionally off during this time frame, so more easily triggered. What I will say is, if you know you have a family member that likes to pick fights with you, 
I would just avoid having any type of like interaction with them that may lead to confrontation, especially if you live with this person, because I see that. Okay, so we have attachment, the magician in the mirror, and we also have the fifth chakra. So we have the magician card twice here. I don't want to, you know, let that go unnoticed here, but there definitely is two magician cards. So during this time frame, there is no problem with you recognizing your personal power, where you're trying to go, what you need to do to get there. It's just, you may have certain attachments, whether this is like, you know, self-doubting or not treating yourself better or your mental health possibly needing more attention or for some of you, even people, and they keep you from being able to focus on your goals and things like that. For others of you, it's just negative thoughts that you may be attached to, but there's definitely attachments that need to be looked at and how they may, block, may be blocking you, excuse me, from being focused. Now, I also have that fifth chakra and I've been getting the fifth chakra for a lot of zodiac signs, so it's really not even limited to you. But with the fifth chakra, this has to do with your ability to kind of voice your your personal truth, how you feel, and being able to communicate effectively. So one thing I am seeing with this, you guys are going to have to tune in or fine tune your fifth chakra, your throat chakra for several reasons. For some of you, it's communication in your relationships. So your romantic relationships, your relationships with family, that's something that you're having to work on for that sake. For others of you, this is more of like in your career where you may have to do like public speaking and you may not feel comfortable with public speaking quite yet because you may get choked up or nervous or what have you, okay? Also, this could be you needing to fine tune your fifth chakra or your throat chakra because at times you don't feel like you're getting your point across in a way where people can understand. And once you have a balanced throat chakra you're able to convey your feelings clearly and directly so this is something to definitely look at I'm going to pull some cards from here what advice can I give my Scorpios for the current energies they're experiencing we have compromise no need to worry and we have yes so there's a need for you to Understand that everything isn't 100% going to be perfect. There's definitely going to be flaws with life, just in general, um, here and there. So you do need to compromise that everything's not going to be 100% perfect. You're not going to have your ducks all the way in a row. But what you can do is definitely strive to do so. Um, and this is the same thing with relationships. Everything's not going to be 100% perfect. You guys also do need to understand that there's no need for you to let anxiety or worry keep you a prisoner and outweigh the negative of the said situation. Anytime anxiety becomes so overwhelming that it outweighs even the existing problem, then that's when you're letting anxiety kind of take over and, you know, take the driver's wheel, okay, <laughs> in your situation. So definitely be more aware of that. And then the last card, which is so positive, we have yes. So this is good. This speaks to you getting a lot of confirmations from your spirit guides or the universe, whatever you believe in during this time frame. I would definitely look at synchronicities and different confirmations that come up. But I am going to stop the reading. I hope that you did enjoy and you took something from this video. If you did, of course, feel free to thumbs this video up. I will, like I said, link the tarot decks that I like to use below. Also my information to book a session. So just check there and I'll see you in the next one.